The burning of limestone from quarries adds considerably to the 7% of global greenhouse gas emissions from cement manufacture. A team of researchers led by the University of Colorado in Boulder developed a way to utilize microalgae to absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, making cement manufacturing carbon neutral or even negative. The Advanced Research Projects Agency Energy RPAE, of the United States Department of Energy DOE, has awarded CU Boulder engineers and their colleagues $3.2 million for their innovative work. The Hestia Initiative, harnessing emissions into structures taking inputs from the atmosphere, recently selected the research group to enhance and extend the manufacture of biogenic limestone-based Portland cement and contribute to the establishment of a zero-carbon future. Will Srobar, lead principal investigator on the project and associate professor in civil, environmental, and architectural engineering said now is the moment for the industry to address this vexing issue and they have one of the finest solutions for the cement and concrete industry's carbon problem. Concrete is one of the most common materials on the planet and is used as a construction foundation all over the world. It starts with a paste of water and Portland cement, to which components such as sand, gravel, or crushed stone are added. The paste binds the particles and hardens the mixture to form concrete. The most common type of cement, Portland cement, is made by extracting limestone from enormous quarries and burning it at high temperatures, releasing a lot of carbon dioxide. The research team developed a net carbon neutral technique of creating Portland cement by replacing mined limestone with biologically created limestone, a natural process that some species of calcareous microalgae complete via photosynthesis, much like building coral reefs. In other words, the amount of carbon dioxide emitted into the atmosphere equals the amount collected by the microalgae. Ground limestone is another popular filler element used in Portland cement, accounting for around 15% of the total. If biogenic limestone was used as the filler instead of quarried limestone, Portland cement could become not just net neutral but also carbon negative by extracting carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and storing it permanently in concrete. If all cement-based construction worldwide were replaced with biogenic limestone cement, a whopping 2 gigatons of carbon dioxide would no longer be pumped into the atmosphere each year, and more than 250 million additional tons of carbon dioxide would be pulled out of the atmosphere and stored in these materials. According to Srubar, this could potentially happen overnight since biogenic limestone can plug and play with contemporary cement manufacturing techniques. He and his colleagues began growing coccolithophores, which are hazy white microalgae that absorb and store carbon dioxide in solid form via photosynthesis. Only a few million years separate limestone from what these critters build in real time. These microscopic creatures manufacture the most calcium carbonate on the globe, and at a quicker rate than coral reefs, using just sunshine, salt water, and dissolved carbon dioxide. Coccolithophore blooms are so large in the world's seas that they can be seen from space. These microalgae are tough tiny critters that can survive in both warm and cold, salt and fresh water all over the planet, making them excellent candidates for production practically anywhere in cities, on land, or at sea. According to the team's estimations, just 1 to 2 million acres of open ponds would be needed to generate all of the cement that the United States requires 0.5% of total land area in the United States and only 1% of land utilized to grow maize. Microalgae's lipids, proteins, sugars, and carbohydrates can be utilized to manufacture biofuels, food, and cosmetics, implying that these microalgae might also be a source of other, more expensive co-products, helping to balance the expenses of limestone production. The present global development rate is astounding, with plans to create a new New York City every month for the next 40 years. According to Srubar, global expansion presents a chance not just to transform buildings into carbon sinks, but also to clean up the construction sector. He expects that substituting mined limestone with homegrown limestone would enhance air quality, lessen environmental harm, and provide fair access to construction materials globally. We generate more concrete than any other material on the globe, which means it affects everyone's life. It's critical that we remember that this material must be economical and simple to manufacture, and that the advantages must be shared on a global basis. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.